Ubisoft really seems to have a money-making venture with the Pets franchise. They've released all kinds of Pets games like dogs, cats, bunnies, horses, and hamsters. So they must have thought it was time to give monkeys a shot. I know there has to be a certain number of the population that really wants to have a monkey for a pet. And you know what? I am one of them. Ubisoft must have saw that and quickly made this game. First, you have to go to the adoption center to pick out your monkey. When you first start out the game, they give you the choice of two monkeys, but you can unlock other kinds later. They also give you a choice of a different color fur for your monkey, but they don't tell you what you're choosing. If you choose one, two, or three, they don't show you what color you're selecting. Why do they even bother giving you the option when you have no idea what you're selecting? Now you have your monkey in this spacious house which by the way, you can't decorate. In there, you can choose a few activities to make your monkey happy. There really isn't that many options, so I'm just gonna talk about them all. Let's start with the dresser. You can dress up your monkey, so it's not just running around naked. As you can see, I made my monkey look styling and hip. Yeah! There's also a TV you can turn on for your monkey, and it plays a non-stop commercial for this game. Nice. If you just wanna pet your monkey, you can use the Wiimote to make petting motions over your monkey. And if your monkey's getting mischievous, or if you're just kind of a jerk, you can spray your monkey with water. Then you can give it toys to play with, which were apparently made from the future since they had the ability to pass through the monkey's hands and still look like it was being held. Or maybe it was just lazy programming, you decide. At this point, your monkey might be hungry or thirsty, or maybe both. And you can easily just open up the cabinets grab food and water and float it above their heads so they can grab it. Then your monkey might be wanting to have some fun outside. So you take him outside. The outside is quite large, but it has no clickable icons. It's only for show. But your monkey will enjoy it as it will play around on its own. After that, your monkey might get dirty. So you're gonna have to give it a shower. They don't even bother to ask if you wanna take the monkey's clothes off. You just wash them with the clothes on. So you'll wash and dry your monkey until you start to see sparkles. Apparently when monkeys get dry, they expel pixie dust. Then to end the day, you can teach your monkey some tricks using the Wiimote's motion controls. You have to hit the down button on your Wiimote to get your monkey to pay attention to your gestures. But the problem with doing that is they also use the down button to back away from a location. So often when you're trying to do a motion gesture, you'll end up quickly backing away from the monkey. And you'll have to click on them again and start the whole process over again. If you get really bored with the game, and of course you will, you can crossbreed your monkey with other monkeys. It's an interesting idea, but I doubt anyone will even bother to get that far enough into the game to even try it. For each time you do one of the above actions, you might earn stars, which if you collect enough of them will unlock new monkeys, toys, clothes, and tricks. But the question is, will you even bother? The answer is no. I am a big fan of the Pets series. I think they're great for kids, even if the dogs and cats storylines were a little bit dark. They were still fun to play. But this game is just terrible. If you've ever wanted to play a monkey simulator, just keep looking, since this game is gonna disappoint you. Pets Crazy Monkeys would be a great gift if you wanna give someone a game with 10 minutes worth of content. I wonder how much this game sells for. Hold on, Amazon.com Crazy Monkeys. $40? $40? This game sells for $40? This game is so worthless. I can't believe that they're thinking about charging $40 for this game. I thought maybe it'd be like $20, but $40. And you know what's sad? I'm sure in Australia it'd be like $200. Congratulations, Ubisoft. You've created a worthless game that you've overpriced ridiculously. $40. <laughs> If you ever even thinking about buying this game, I want you to take that money that you were going to use, put it in your toilet, and flush it down. Because it'll give you more entertainment than this game. I'm sorry, my voice is gone. I, I, I am sorry, This I know this is not professional, but please. $40! You shouldn't buy this game. You shouldn't rent this game. I can't believe it. $40.